Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make old-fashioned butter using an antique butter churn. Now you can also make this with a glass jar and I'm going to show you both methods today. So first I just want to show you this antique. Now I purchased it off of eBay a few years ago thinking that it was a reproduction. So you can imagine my surprise when I received it and there were still some cobwebs and critters inside. I did wash it thoroughly before we used it and today I'm going to show you how to use it as well. So the only thing you need in order to make old-fashioned butter is some heavy cream and I'm going to use almost the entire contents and now to use this butter churn it probably would have worked better if I had a full container of cream but I want to reserve a little bit of it so that I can show you another way to make butter. So now you just have to start cranking away and you just keep going and going. I employed my 10 year old son to help out with this. And the thing is it's that it, you can't tell as easily when the butter is made with this one as much as you can when you're doing the other method when you're shaking the cream in a jar because then you can really hear it when it's done. So we're getting close to being done making butter and now I just want to show you what it looks like when it's all made. And you you want to make sure that you see good separation between the butter and the buttermilk. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is just separate the butter out from the buttermilk. And I'm just going to use a little strainer here, but it does work a lot better and a lot easier if you use cheesecloth. You just want to gently press the butter so it doesn't go all the way through the strainer. You just want to remove that buttermilk and you can keep that to make cultured buttermilk if you want to try. Next, I'm going to remove the rest of the butter out of the butter churn and I'm going to continue just extracting as much of the buttermilk from this butter as I can. Then I'm just going to scrape it all up and put it into another container. Now you can salt this butter if you like or you can leave it as is. I personally like it unsalted, but you may do as you wish, or you can get creative and add some herbs to it and it's going to keep quite a while in the refrigerator. So let me show you another method, and you don't need any special equipment for this, but you do need your heavy cream. I'm just going to use a glass jar, and this is a great activity for kids. We did this with our American History units, and you're just going to put in some of the cream, and when you're working with kids, less is a little bit easier for them to work with, even a smaller container so that they can make the butter more quickly. You just want to keep shaking and shaking and shaking. Now I want to show you what it looks like after five minutes we made whipped cream. So if you want to stop here, you certainly can add this to your hot chocolate, but if you want to keep going, you will make butter. So you got to keep shaking that up. Now I want to show you here, this is not quite butter, but we're getting close. You want to make sure that your buttermilk separates from your butter. Okay, so let's put the lid back on and keep shaking. And this is why working in a jar is a little bit easier than working with a butter churn because you can really hear it when the butter separates from the buttermilk. So let's take a look at it now and see if we've got butter. And sure enough, you can see that that buttermilk has separated out from the butter. And now it's time to strain it. So again, I'm just going to use a kitchen strainer rather than some cheesecloth because that's what I have on hand. And you can see that buttermilk there. And I'm just going to gently squeeze out a little bit more of the buttermilk. And you can use that buttermilk to make dough if you'd like instead of using water. I'm just going to transfer this butter to a container. And at this point, you can add a little bit of salt to it if you want. And you can put it in the refrigerator or you can start to eat it right away. So I'm going to put some of this fresh made butter onto some freshly toasted bread. And you can just see how amazing that looks. And then I've got a taste tester here who is going to give it a good crunch and A plus, check that out. So you can see how easy it is to make your own fresh butter. You can impress your friends with this. And if you'd like to check out the complete directions and more pictures, you can find them on my website at pepperandpine.com.